What's up everybody, bless it be. My name is Manon and you are watching Witch in the Working where we will be discussing all things witchy in and around, throughout and about, above, below, and beyond. Please visit me on my other platforms as well, including Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon, all linked down in the description below. The full script of this video and most of the others is available on my Patreon account for download if desired to build your own Witch in the Working Book of Shadows. So, imagine sitting around a crackling campfire, embracing its warmth, seeing the flames dance, and listening to the wood crackle and hiss. There's something that's so entrancing and magical about it, right? I mean, it's always, I love fires. Well, that is the element of fire for you, alive, dynamic, and a whole lot of mesmerizing. In the realms of witchcraft and Wicca, fire has a special place, not just for its physical warmth, but for its spiritual significance as well. In this episode of Witch in the Working, we're going to talk all about the element of fire so get ready for some enlightenment <laughs> so stupid anyway roll the intro <laughs> Welcome back everybody. Before we dive into the fiery depths of fire, let's set the stage with a bit of background on the elemental quartet. In Witchcraft and Wicca, the universe is seen to be made up of four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. Each element has its own vibe and job description. Earth is all about stability, growth, and nourishment. Think of the solid ground beneath your feet and the nurturing embrace of mother nature. Air symbolizes thoughts, wisdom, and communication. It's like the invisible breath of the universe, carrying ideas and whispers from one place to another. Water flows with emotion, intuition, and healing. It's the soothing touch of a cool stream and the deep, mysterious pool of the ocean. And fire, our star player today, is the element of transformation, energy, and passion. It's the spark that lights the way and the blaze that changes everything it touches. Now, let's cozy up to fire and get to know it just a little bit better. Fire is like that friend who's always full of energy, ready to try something new and can light up the room, quite literally in this case. In Witchcraft and Wicca, working with fire means tapping into the realm of some powerful magic. Let's see why. For starters, we have transformation. Fire is the ultimate change agent. It can turn a solid piece of wood into ash and smoke, releasing energy in the process. In spiritual practices, fire represents the ability to transform ourselves, our situations, and even our thoughts. Fire offers energy and passion. Ever heard of the phrase, fire in the belly? That's what we're talking about here. Fire embodies drive, ambition, and the raw energy to get things done. It's the spark that ignites action and the warmth that fuels our passions. Another element to fire is light and guidance. In the darkest of nights, a single flame can light the way. Fire represents knowledge, enlightenment, and the guiding light that helps us see through the shadows of uncertainty. Purification is yet another component to the element of fire. Just as fire can burn away the old and unnecessary, it's also seen as a purifying force. It's about getting rid of the clutter, both physically and spiritually, to make way for new growth and possibilities. In the grand scheme of things within Witchcraft and Wicca, fire dances alongside earth, air, and water, each element playing a crucial role in the balance of things. They're like the ultimate squad, with fire bringing the heat, energy, and transformation to the mix. So there you have it, a little intro to the element of fire, served up with a side of the other elemental players. Whether you're roasting marshmallows or lighting a candle with intent, remember that fire is more than just a chemical reaction. It's a symbol of transformation, energy, and the light that guides us forward. In the realms of witchcraft and Wicca, fire shows us of our own inner spark and the power we have to change our lives and the world around us. Let's talk about fire, not just the kind you light in our backyard for a barbecue, but the kind that's been a game changer for mankind and a powerful symbol in spiritual practices. Fire's completely fascinating. It's warm, it dances, and it can be both a friend and a foe. But beyond its flickering flames, fire carries much deeper meanings, especially when we think about its unique qualities, energy, transformation, passion, and willpower. First off, fire is the ultimate party animal of energy. It's all about action and dynamism. When you light a match, you're not just seeing a flame, you're witnessing energy in its most dramatic form. This energy is what powered the first human inventions, from cooking food to forging tools. In spiritual terms, 
Fire's energy represents the drive and vitality within us. It's that kickstart you feel when you're pumped up about a new project or goal, for instance. Now let's talk about transformation. Fire is the master of change. It can turn a piece of wood into warmth, light, and ash in no time. This isn't just about burning stuff, though. It's a metaphor for personal transformation. Just like fire changes what it touches, we can use our inner fire to transform our lives. It's about burning away the old to make room for the new, whether that's bad habits, outdated beliefs, or anything else that doesn't serve us anymore. Every year during Imbolg, February 2nd, and a huge fire festival, I always incorporate a ritual that involves sweeping out the old and bringing in the new for the new year to come. When we feel passionate about something, it's like there's a fire burning in our hearts. This isn't by chance. Fire represents passion, that intense burning feeling that drives us to love, create, and pursue our dreams. It's the fire of passion passion that inspires artists to paint, musicians to compose, teachers to teach, and lovers to express their hearts. Without this fiery passion, life would be a lot less colorful and exciting. Lastly, there's willpower, that inner flame that keeps us going even when the going gets tough. Willpower is that stubborn little spark that says, yes, I can, when everything else seems to scream, give it up. It's what pushes athletes to break records, inventors to keep experimenting, and anyone who's ever faced a challenge to keep moving forward. Fire's willpower is about resilience, determination, and strength to overcome obstacles. It's not just about the flames, it's about what those flames represent in our lives. The energy of fire is our get up and go, its transformative power is our ability to change, its passion is the love and creativity we pour into our endeavors, and its willpower is our unwavering resolve. Fire teaches us that within each of us is a spark, a potential to ignite change, pursue our passions, and keep burning brightly no matter what. Remember, every big fire starts with a small spark. Fire with its mesmerizing dance and life-giving warmth is more than just a physical phenomenon. It's a powerful symbol woven into the stories and traditions of cultures around the world since the beginning of time. From ancient myths to modern day celebrations, fire captures the human imagination, representing everything from creation to destruction, from protection to purification. Let's take a gander at the meanings fire holds across different cultures and uh, traditions. In many societies, fire is seen as the spark of creation, the first light in the darkness of the universe. For example, in Greek mythology, Prometheus stole fire from the gods to give to the humans, symbolizing the dawn of civilization and human ingenuity. But fire is a bit of a double-edged sword. It's not just about creation. It also symbolizes destruction. Think of the phoenix, a mythical bird that burst into flames at the end of its life, only to rise again from its ashes, representing rebirth and renewal. Fire also serves as a symbol of protection and guidance. In ancient times, fires were lit at the edges of villages and uh, towns to ward off evil spirits and wild animals. Even today, in many cultures, people light candles in their homes or places of worship as a sign of protection and a way to connect with the divine. Fire's guiding light is epitomized by the lighthouse, its beacon guiding sailors safely to shore, symbolizing hope and safe harbor in the face of adversity. Have you ever sat around a bonfire throwing in bits of paper with things you wanted to let go of? Been there and done that probably a hundred times in my pagan career. That's fire as a symbol of purification and transformation. Many people use fire and rituals to symbolize the burning away of impurities or the past, making way for new beginnings. In Hindu traditions, fire is central to the yagna, ritual sacrifice, where offerings are made to the fire, symbolizing the cycle of creation and destruction and the transformation of material offerings into spiritual benefits. Fire symbolizes the warmth of hearth and home, the center of family life and community. In ancient Rome, the hearth's fire was sacred to Vesta, the goddess of the hearth and home, and it was kept burning as a symbol of the family's vitality and the state's continuity. The fireplace remains a cherished spot in many homes, a place around which families gather for warmth, storytelling, and bonding. For those of us in covens, we know only too well how the hearth is the gathering place in the end, and it just naturally happens. Everybody just, for some reason, ends up... Um, congregating to, to the fireplace area or, or the kitchen uh, in situations. Lastly, fire represents passion and enlightenment. It's the inner fire that drives artists to create, lovers to love, and seekers to seek. In Buddhism, the flame is a symbol of enlightenment, the light of wisdom that dispels the darkness of ignorance. The flickering flame of a candle in meditation is used as a focus point, representing the mind's potential to be free from the attachments that cloud our true nature. 
Fire, in its essence, is a storyteller. It speaks of beginnings and endings, of protection and destruction, of purity and passion. Across cultures and traditions, fire's symbolic significance weaves a rich narrative about the human experience, reflecting our deepest fears, highest aspirations, and the universal quest for meaning and connection. So the next time you light a candle or sit by a fire, remember the multitude of stories and symbols it carries, a testament to our shared human heritage. When we think about fire, we often picture flames and warmth, but fire's essence can also be found in the natural world, particularly in certain fiery herbs. These aren't your average garden greens, but rather herbs packed with a spicy kick and a touch of magic. Think cinnamon, cloves, ginger, and pepper. These aren't just great for cooking. They're also powerful allies in fire-related magic, used to add energy, passion, and a bit of heat to rituals and spells. Cinnamon is like the warm hug of the herb world. It's sweet, spicy, and full of comforting vibes, but don't let its cozy aroma fool you. Cinnamon is a powerhouse in fire magic. It's associated with drawing in success, love, and protection. Sprinkling cinnamon around your home is believed to safeguard it, and carrying a stick of cinnamon can attract love and prosperity. In magical workings, cinnamon is often used in spells to speak things up given its association with the quick igniting properties of fire. Cloves are like little spikes packed with intense flavor and magical properties. They're all about protection and banishing negative vibes. In fire magic, cloves are used to drive away hostile forces and purify spaces. Studying an orange with cloves and hanging it in our home is an old school way to keep bad energy at bay and attract good fortune. Cloves' fiery nature makes them perfect for spells that aim to ward off negativity or to spike up your magical defenses. Ginger is the zesty, peppy friend in the herb world, ready to spice things up at a moment's notice. In fire magic, ginger is the go-to herb for adding energy and speed to spells. It's like a magical catalyst getting things moving and shaking. Adding ginger to a spell or potion is believed to increase its potency and hasten the results. It's also used for passion spells, given its hot and fiery nature, warming up relationships and stirring up desire. Pepper, whether black, white, or red, is all about adding a bit of heat and protection. In fire magic, pepper is used to cast protective barriers and keep away unwanted attention. Sprinkling pepper around your home or property is a simple way to create a protective shield. Pepper can also heat up spells, making them more effective, especially when you need a dash of courage or want to banish negativity with a bit of spicy fierceness. Herbs like cinnamon, cloves, ginger, and pepper are not only staples in the kitchen, but also powerful tools in the practice of fire magic. Their warm, spicy qualities embody the essence of fire, making them ideal for spells and rituals focused on protection, passion, energy, and transformation. Remember, the key to working with these fiery herbs is intention. Visualize your goal as you work with them, igniting your desires with the spark of fire magic. Some other herbs that possess fiery energy are garlic, hibiscus, and coffee. Have you ever held a small warm stone in your hand, feeling its weight and soaking in its vibrant color? Most likely that wasn't just any stone, but one that's pulsing with the energy of fire itself. That's what it's like to work with fiery stones and jewels like carnelian, citrine, ruby, and red jasper. These aren't just pretty rocks. They're believed to be packed with fire energy, making them perfect friends for anyone looking to add a bit of heat and passion to their life. Carnelian is like that friend who's always full of energy and ready to cheer you on. It's a stone that's all about motivation, courage, and getting things done. With its warm reddish hues, carnelian is said to stoke the inner fires of ambition and determination. Carrying a piece of carnelian might just be the nudge you need to tackle that daunting project or to speak up with confidence. In fire energy terms, carnelian is like a gentle spark ready to ignite into a blaze of productivity and creativity. Citrine is like a piece of sunshine, bright and sparkling with positivity. This gym is all about joy, abundance, and manifesting your dreams. It's said to carry the power of the sun, making it a potent tool for attracting wealth and success. Placing citrine in your home or workspace is believed to invite good vibes and keep the energy flowing smoothly. In the realm of fire energy, citrine brings warmth and light, helping to dispel darkness and fill your life with a sunny glow. Ruby, with its deep red color, is the stone of passion and love. It's like the embodiment of a beating heart, full of vitality and intensity. Ruby is said to amplify emotions, deepen connections, and bring about a zest for life. Wearing a ruby is believed to enhance love, courage, and confidence, making it a powerful ally for those looking to live life to, the, to its fullest. In terms of fire energy, ruby is the flame of passion burning brightly and fiercely. Red Jasper is like the steady grounding force amid the flickering flames. It's known for its nurturing and protective qualities, providing a sense of stability and comfort. Red Jasper is said to help with focus and endurance, making it great for long-term projects or situations that require perseverance. 
Carrying or wearing Red Jasper can be like having a steady hand guiding you through life's ups and downs. In the context of fire energy, Red Jasper represents a controlled burn, steady and sustaining. Some other stones that embrace fire energy are fire opal, volcanic lava, and agate. Carnelian, citrine, ruby, and red jasper aren't just ordinary stones. They're like little batteries of fire energy, ready to lend their warmth, passion, and power to your life. Whether you're looking for motivation, joy, passion, or stability, these fiery gems can be your sparkling companions on journeys. When you think of fire, what images pop into your head? Maybe a crackling campfire, the bright sun in a clear sky, the distant twinkle of stars, or the sudden flash of lightning during a storm, for instance. These aren't just random images. They're powerful symbols of fire that have been sparking imaginations and stirring souls for centuries. Fire symbols like flames, the sun, stars, and lightning carry deep meanings and are used in various rituals and spells to harness the element's dynamic energy. Flames are the most direct symbol of fire, representing transformation, light, and warmth. Watching flames dance can be mesmerizing as they constantly change shape and intensity. In rituals and spells, flames symbolize the power to transform, burning away the old to make way for the new. Lighting a candle and focusing on its flame is a simple yet powerful way to tap into fire's transformative energy, whether you're seeking personal change or just trying to shift the vibe in your space. The sun is like the ultimate fireball in the sky, giving light and life to the world. It symbolizes strength, vitality, and the unyielding force of life itself. The sun's rising and setting remind us of these cycles of life, renewal, and the passage of time. In rituals, honoring the sun can involve greeting the sunrise with a simple moment of reflection or using symbols of the sun like solar discs or sun-shaped charms to draw in positive, life-affirming energy. Stars are like distant suns, each a source of light and fire in its own right. They symbolize guidance, aspiration, and the eternal nature of the cosmos. Gazing at the stars can connect us to the vastness of the universe and our place within it. Using star imagery in spells and rituals can help tap into the energy of guidance and inspiration, perfect for when you're setting long-term goals or seeking your path in life. Lightning is fire in its most sudden and electric form, symbolizing swift change, inspiration, and the unleashing of potential. It's the ultimate aha moment, a flash of insight or inspiration that can change everything in an instant. In magical practices, invoking the symbol of lightning can be about catalyzing rapid change or sparking creative breakthroughs. Drawing a lightning bolt or visualizing a flash of lightning during a spell can help channel this powerful dynamic energy. Some other symbols you can utilize to represent fire are a volcano, rainbow, and lava. The symbols of fire, flames, the sun, stars, and lightning are rich with meaning and power, each offering a special way to connect with the fiery energy of transformation, life, vitality, and sudden change. Whether you're lighting a candle, watching the sunrise, stargazing, or visualizing a bolt of lightning, you're tapping into the ancient and dynamic essence of fire. When we gather around a fire, feeling its warmth and watching its lively dance, it's easy to understand why so many cultures around the world have gods and goddesses dedicated to this elemental force. Fire, with its ability to transform, create, destroy, and illuminate, has fascinated humans since the dawn of time. From the ancient forges of Hephaestus and Vulcan to the sacred flames of Hestia, and from the fiery passion of Pele to the warm hearth of Brigid, fire gods and goddesses have been there. In fact, the earliest god ever created by mankind was done so by influence of the sun itself. People worship the sun before any other. Hephaestus, Greek mythology, and Vulcan, Roman mythology, are essentially two sides of the same coin, both representing the god of fire and metalworking. Picture a burly god covered in suit, hammering away at a fiery forge, crafting weapons and armor for gods and heroes. That's Hephaestus, or Vulcan for you. They symbolize not just the destructive power of fire, but also its creative and transformative abilities. Invoking Hephaestus or Vulcan in rituals might be about seeking the strength to forge ahead in life or the inspiration to craft something new, whether it's a project, a piece of art, or a new path in life. Agni is the Hindu god of fire and is considered one of the most important deities in the Vedic tradition. He's not just about the physical aspect of fire, he also represents the light of knowledge and the warmth of divine. Agni is the messenger between humans and gods, his flames carrying prayers and offerings to the celestial realms. Involving Agni in rituals can be about seeking enlightenment, clarity, and divine connection, lighting a fire not just in the hearth, but in the heart and mind as well. Hesia, Greek mythology, and Brigid, Celtic mythology are goddesses who bring warmth of fire into the home, making it a sacred space. Hestia is the virgin goddess of the hearth, home and family life. Her fire is not wild, but gentle, creating a space of warmth, safety, and comfort. 
Bridget, on the other hand, is a bit more versatile. She's associated with the hearth and home, but also with healing, poetry, and smithcraft. She embodies the light of inspiration and the nurturing flame that sustains life. Honoring Hesia or Bridget might involve keeping a candle burning in your home as a symbol of their protective and nurturing presence. Pele is a unique deity in this fiery pantheon, being the Hawaiian goddess of volcanoes and fire. She's as creative as she is destructive. Her volcanic fire is capable of both obliterating land and creating new land. Pele embodies the raw, untamed aspect of fire, its primal power to change landscapes in both literal and metaphorical senses. Paying homage to Pele in rituals might be about embracing change, um, respecting nature's power, and finding the creative potential in seemingly destructive forces. Some other gods and goddesses you might be interested in when working with fire are Vesta, Horus, and Prometheus, to name a few more. The gods and goddesses of fire from various mythologies remind us of the multifaceted nature of fire itself, creative, destructive, protective, and transformative. Whether you're drawn to the forge's heat, the hearth's warmth, the wisdom's light, or the volcano's power, working with these deities can add depth and warmth to your spiritual practice. Remember, it's about finding the spark that resonates with you, lighting it, and seeing where it leads in your personal journey. When we think of fire, our minds often jump to its physical form, bright, warm, and lively. But in the world of symbolism and magic, fire lives and breathes through some pretty spectacular animals too. Creatures like the phoenix, dragons, lions, and snakes aren't just cool to read about in myths and legends, they carry deep meanings and are powerful allies in fire magic. The phoenix is like the rock star of fire symbols. It's a mythical bird that, according to legend, can bust into flames at the end of its life, only to rise again from its own ashes. Talk about making an entrance or an exit. The phoenix represents rebirth, renewal, and the never-ending cycle of life, death, and rebirth. In fire magic, invoking the phoenix can be about transformation and overcoming tough times, reminding us that no matter what, there's always a chance to start anew and rise from our challenges, stronger and wiser uh, at that. Dragons are the stuff of legend, powerful and awe-inspiring. In many cultures, they're seen as guardians of treasures, wisdom, and secrets. Dragons breathing fire symbolize raw power, protection, and the ability to transform reality. Working with dragon energy and fire magic might involve calling on their strength to guard what's precious to us to ignite our inner fire or to help us master the art of transformation, burning away what no longer serves us to reveal hidden treasures within. While not fiery in the literal sense, lions are often associated with the sun and fire due to their golden manes and regal presence, uh, reminiscent of the sun's rays. Lions symbolize courage, strength, and leadership. They remind us of the fire within, the heart's courage, and the will to stand tall and proud. In fire magic, lion symbolism can be used to boost confidence, assert authority, and awaken the inner king or queen within us, encouraging us to rule our personal domain with grace and power. Snakes might not be the first creatures that come to mind when you think of fire, but they're deeply connected to themes of transformation and renewal, much like fire itself. Snakes shed their skin to grow, symbolizing the shedding of old ways and rebirth into new possibilities. Their slithering motion also resembles the flickering flames, adding to their fiery association. In fire magic, snakes represent healing, change, and the shedding of personal limitations, inviting us to embrace growth and renewal. Some other fire animals include the cat, the horse, the cricket, the mantis, ladybug, bee, scorpion, coyote, and fox. The animal symbols of fire that we just discussed each bring their unique flavor to the fiery tapestry of magic and symbolism. They teach us of the power of renewal, the strength of protection, the courage to lead, and the potential for transformation. By working with these symbols, we connect with the primal essence of fire, not just as a physical element, but as a spiritual force that dances within us and in the world around us. In the world of astrology, the 12 zodiac signs are split into four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. <laughs> Go figure. Each element brings its own flavor to the signs it rules. And when it comes to fire, we're talking about the zodiac's most vibrant, dynamic, and fiery personalities, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. These three signs are like the life of the astrological party, each bringing their own kind of heat. I recently did a video specifically on fire signs of the zodiac. I placed a link in the description below for you if you wanna dive in a little further into that rabbit hole. Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, is like the initial spark that ignites a flame. 
Born between March 21st and April 19th, Aries folks are known for their energy, enthusiasm, and readiness to jump into action. They're the let's do this people, always up for a challenge and not afraid to take the lead. Aries is ruled by Mars, the planet of action and drive, which adds to their go-getter attitude. In fire terms, Aries is that first exciting spark, the burst of energy that starts something anew. Next up is Leo the sign that rules the heart of summer from July 23rd to August 22nd. Leos are like the roaring fire in the fireplace, warm, bright, and impossible to ignore. Ruled by the sun itself, Leos have a natural radiance and confidence that draws others to them. They're generous, creative, and have a flair for the dramatic, often shining in the arts or any field that allows them to express themselves. In the realm of fire, Leo represents the sustained radiant flame that warms and lights up the space around it. Last but not least is Sagittarius, the adventurers of the zodiac, whose seasons run from November 22nd to December 21st. I myself am a Sag, so I'm partial to this one. <laughs> also, I can attest that it's very accurate to who I am. Sagittarians are like wildfires, expansive, free-spirited, and a little unpredictable. They are ruled by Jupiter, the planet of growth and exploration, which fuels their love for travel, learning, and experiencing all that life has to offer. Sagittarians are known for their optimism, sense of humor, and philosophical outlook. In fire symbolism, Sagittarius is the wildfire that spreads far and wide, seeking new experiences and knowledge. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, the zodiac's fire signs, bring heat, light, and energy to the astrological table. Each sign expresses the fiery element in its own unique way. Aries as the spark that starts the blaze, Leo as the radiant flames that shines brightly, and Sagittarius as the wildfire that seeks new horizons. Understanding these fiery personalities can help us appreciate the warmth and dynamism they bring into our lives and the world around us. When we think of fire, we often picture flames and sparks, not necessarily the calm, grounded presence of trees. But would you believe that some trees share a deep connection with the element of fire? Yep, that's right. Trees like oak, holly, ash, and alder aren't just standing tall for the heck of it. They carry the essence of fire within their bark and leaves, each in its own special way. The oak tree is like the granddaddy of strength and endurance, often associated with thunder gods and sky deities because of its tendency to attract lightning. But here's the cool part. Despite being a lightning magnet, oak is incredibly resilient and doesn't easily catch fire. This makes it a symbol of steadfastness and inner fire, representing courage, power, and the ability to stand strong no matter what. In fire magic and symbolism, oak reminds us of our inner strength and the steady, enduring flame of willpower that burns within. Holly is one fiery tree, especially when you think about its bright red berries and glossy green leaves that stay vibrant even in the coldest winters. In ancient times, holly was considered a protective tree, its wood used to make charms that ward off evil spirits. The fiery connection? Holly represents the eternal flame of life, burning bright even when everything else has gone cold. It's a symbol of resilience and everlasting energy, teaching us to keep our inner flame alive through all seasons of life. In many mythologies, the ash tree holds a special place, often seen as the cosmic world tree or tree of life. What's the fire connection here? Well, ash wood is known for burning hot and steady, making it a favorite for fireplaces and rituals. Symbolically, ash represents the fire of creation and the interconnectedness of all things. It reminds us of the spark of life that connects the heavens, the earth, and the underworld, a fiery core that holds the universe together. Alder might not be the first tree you would think of in terms of fire, but it has a pretty neat trick up its sleeve. When alder wood is cut, it turns from white to orange, resembling the glowing ember of a fire. Plus, alder wood is resistant to water and was often used to make uh, foundations for buildings in watery areas. In terms of fire symbolism, alder represents protection and the ability to hold your ground. It's fiery, heart-burning strong, even when surrounded by the waters of emotion or challenge. Some other trees of fiery interest are the cashew, the cedar, chestnut, fig, juniper, mahogany, rowan, and walnut. Most of these trees may seem like ordinary trees at first glance, but they carry the essence of fire in their own unique ways. Whether it's the enduring strength of oak, the eternal life force of holly, the cosmic fire of ash, or the protective ember of alder, these trees remind us of the different facets of fire energy and how it manifests in the natural world.
Magic can be found in the quiet flicker of a candle, the roaring dance of a bonfire, and the gentle warmth of the sun. Fire magic is all about tapping into the vibrant, transformative energy of fire in various accessible ways. Candle magic is like the cozy, intimate dinner of the magical world. It's simple, personal, and you can do it right at your kitchen table. And in fact, is my go-to type of magic. Maybe that's because I'm a fire sign myself, being a Sagittarius, I don't know, I just love candle magic. The idea is to use candles as a focus for your intentions, kind of like making a wish on your birthday cake, but with a few more steps. You choose a candle color that matches your intention, like green for growth or red for passion. Maybe anoint it with some oils and then light it while focusing on what you want to bring into your life. As the candle burns, it's believed that your intention is released into the universe. Candle magic is great for beginners because it's straightforward, safe, and you can get as creative or as simple as you like with it. Bonfire rituals are like the block party of fire magic, where people come together to share in the magical energy of a roaring fire. These can be held on special occasions like solstices and equinoxes, or you know, just because. The fire in these rituals acts as a beacon drawing the community together and symbolizing the collective energy of the group. People might write down things they want to let go and toss them into the fire, dance around it to raise energy, or simply sit and meditate on its crackling wisdom. Bonfire rituals are about connection, connecting with others, with nature, and with transformative power of fire. Sun magic is all about soaking in the natural life-giving energy of our biggest and brightest celestial neighbor, the sun. This type of magic is less about doing and more about being, taking the time to bask in the sunlight, to greet the dawn, or to watch a sunset with intention. It's about drawing in the sun's energy for vitality, clarity, and growth. You might perform a small ritual at sunrise to welcome new beginnings, charge crystals or water with the sunlight to harness its power, or simply meditate in a sunny spot to fill yourself with a sense of warmth and well-being. Sun magic reminds us of the cycle of day and night, light and dark, and the constant presence of warmth and light in our lives. Fire magic is a warm, welcoming pack that offers something for everyone, from the solitary practitioner lighting a candle on their nightstand to the joyful gathering of friends around a bonfire or the quiet contemplation of a sunrise. Each form of fire magic brings its own flavor and energy, inviting us to explore the transformative, creative, and nurturing aspects of fire in our lives and practices. Again, when we think of fire, we often picture flickering flames and warmth, but there's a whole world of materials that resonate with this elemental force, especially in the realms of metals. Gold, brass, and steel aren't just shiny objects. They carry the essence of fire within them, each in their unique ways. Gold is like the star of the metal world, not just because of its value, but because it literally shines like the sun. This precious metal has been associated with the sun and its life-giving warmth for centuries, making it a powerful symbol of fire energy. Gold represents purity, wealth, and the spiritual aspect of the sun's power. Wearing gold jewelry or having gold items in your space isn't just a sign of prosperity. It's also a way to bring in the radiant, vibrant energy of fire, symbolizing illumination, growth, and the fiery drive towards achieving one's goals. Brass, a mix of copper and zinc, might not be the first metal you think of when it comes to fire, but it has its own warm golden glow that resonates with the energy of the sun. Brass has been used in musical instruments and decorative items for its beautiful color and durability. It's known as the metal of music, believed to bring harmony and clear communication. In terms of fire energy, brass symbolizes the warmth of human connection, the joy of creativity, and the bright, cheerful energy that comes from making music and art. Steel, an alloy primarily made of iron and carbon, is all about strength and resilience. It's the stuff of swords, skyscrapers, and bridges, a metal that's quite literally forged in fire. The process of making steel involves intense heat, melding its components together into something stronger than they were separately. Steel symbolizes the transformative power of fire, the ability to withstand pressure and heat, and come out stronger on the other side. It's a reminder of endurance, determination, and the fiery willpower that drives us to build, create, and stand firm in the face of challenges. Gold, brass, and steel are more than just materials. They're embodiments of fire energy in the physical world. Each metal, with its unique properties and connections to fire, offers a way to tap into the elemental forces, warmth, strength, and radiance. Whether through the sun-like glow of gold, the harmonious shine of brass, or the resilient strength of steel, we can bring a bit of fire's transformative power into our lives, reminding us of the enduring, creative, and bright spirits that burned within us all. Dive into the vibrant world of fire and you'll be greeted by a palette of colors that are as warm and lively as the element itself. Red, orange, gold, and yellow. These colors don't just represent fire on a canvas. They embody its essence from the gentle glow of embers to the fiery blaze of a bonfire. 
Each color carries a slice of fire spirit, evoking emotions, symbolizing ideas, and enhancing magical practices with their radiant energy. Red is like the drumbeat of fire's heart, pulsing with life, passion, and strength. It's the color of the flame at its most intense, full of heat and energy. In magic and symbolism, red is often associated with courage, action, and vitality. It's the color that urges us to move, to act, to feel deeply. Wearing red or using red items in rituals can be a way to tap into fire's raw power, igniting passions and bolstering willpower. Orange is the color of fire in motion, like flames licking the air, playful and full of joy. It embodies the warmth and sociability of fire, its ability to draw people together like moths to a flame. Orange in magical context often symbolizes creativity, attraction, and enthusiasm. It's the hue of social gatherings, artistic endeavors, and anything that involves a lively exchange of ideas. Incorporating orange into your life or rituals can help stimulate creativity and foster a sense of community and connection. Gold captures the radiant, illuminating aspects of fire. It's the color of the sun, of wealth, of divine light shining down. Golden magic and symbolism is associated with success, abundance, and higher wisdom. It represents the highest achievement in the pursuit of excellence. Using gold in your practices or wearing gold can be a way to invite abundance into your life, to seek illumination, and to connect with the divine aspect of fire, its heavenly glow that guides and enlightens. Yellow is like the spark that fire sends out, full of potential and the promise of new beginnings. It's the color of the morning sun, of fresh ideas and the spark of invention. In magical practices, yellow symbolizes intellect, communication, and inspiration. It's the hue of clear thoughts, of sunny disposition, and of the light bulb moments that fire's spark can ignite within us. Surrounding yourself with yellow or using yellow candles and items and rituals can help clear the mind, foster communication, and inspire new ideas. The colors corresponding to fire red, orange, gold, and yellow are not just visual representations of the element, but are imbued with its dynamic transformative energy. Each color offers a unique way to connect with fire, from the passionate depths of red to the enlightenment of glow of gold. By weaving these colors into our lives and practices, we can tap into fire's myriad of qualities, embracing its warmth, light, and endless potential for change. Our exploration of the element of fire has been a vibrant journey, full of warmth, energy, and transformation. From the flickering flame of a single candle to the vast expanse of summer sky at noon, fire's presence weaves through our lives, inviting us to engage with its dynamic essence. Let's take a moment to recap the key points about this powerful element in a simple down-to-earth manner. Reflecting on what makes fire such a central force in both the physical and magical realms, fire is synonymous with energy and transformation. It's the spark that ignites action, the blaze that transforms matter, and the glow that illuminates our path. Fire's energy is both creative and destructive, capable of bringing warmth and light, yet also holding the power to consume and renew. It embodies passion, drive, and the will to move forward, urging us to embrace change and the endless cycle of renewal. Through the use of symbols like flames, the sun and stars, and tools such as candles, thammies, and sensors, we connect with fire's magical aspects. These symbols and tools are not just representations, but conduits for fire's energy, helping us to focus our intentions, purify our spaces, and manifest our desires. They remind us of fire's ability to transform, to protect, and to communicate our deepest wishes to the universe. Fire mirrors the cycle of life. From the youthful energy of summer at noon to the transformative power of a phoenix rising from the ashes, it's present in the rites of passage, the turning of the seasons, and the daily dance from dawn till dusk. In magic, fire guides us through rituals of change, empowering us to shed the old and embrace the new with courage and clarity. Fire's colors, red, orange, gold, and yellow, paint a picture of its vibrant energy, each hue resonating with aspects of passion, creativity, abundance, and inspiration. These colors bring fire's essence into our lives, enhancing our spaces, our practices, and our attire with the element's radiant energy. As we come to an end with our exploration of fire, we're reminded of its pervasive influence and the many ways it enriches our lives and spiritual practices. Fire challenges us to grow, to change, and to kindle the flames of our own inner passions and desires. It's a call to act a beacon of inspiration, and a source of warmth and protection. The element of fire is a powerful and dynamic force, woven into the fabric of the universe and our own beings. Its energy propels us forward, its light guides our way, and its warmth nurtures our growth. By understanding and embracing fire's qualities, we tap into a wellspring of magical potential, learning to harness its transformative power to illuminate our paths and ignite our spirits. As we move forward, let the fire within us burn brightly, driving us toward our highest aspirations and deepest transformation. Well. That's gonna wrap up this episode of Witch in the Working. Do you work with the element of fire in your magic? What do you do? 
Let us all know down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to ring that little bell to be reminded of wonderful and exciting future episodes to come. I love you guys and gals. Blessed be.